Hello and welcome to yet another video by Longshot AI. Now in this video, we'll be talking about Longshot's semantic SEO feature. About semantic SEO, it basically involves creating content which has more meaning, has more topical depth. Now by doing this, you help the search engine crawlers better understand your content and it also helps them see your content as high quality and eventually it promotes your content on the search engine results page. So if uh, Google's helpful content update is something which concerns you, you might need to watch this video. Okay, so as you can see, we are on the long shot blog editor and we've already generated one of the blogs. Now to enable the semantic SEO feature, it's pretty simple. The first thing you do is you select the relevant country for which you wish to generate the score. And uh, the next thing you go to research on the top right hand section, you can see the topic over here. This is the main keyword, uh, content writer for website. You input the keyword, click on search, you get all these results. After you're done with that, come back to general. And uh, in, under the performance tab, you can see the semantic SEO score. What you do is you click on calculate. Give it a few seconds and it will generate a score for you. Now below this, uh, you can also see this, what is this? So if you click on it, it will open up a tab, which will explain what the semantic SEO feature is and uh, how it works. So yeah, over here we have our score 87.5 out of 100 and uh, let's explore how we came to that figure. So yeah, looking at the semantic SEO score, you can see your score comparison against the top rated articles, uh, all comp competitors basically and uh, your semantic ranking. Now you might notice that you can see some of the grades over here and uh, we'll talk about them. But the first thing we do is uh, we look at the questions. Uh, you can see what does the web content writer do. So yeah, these are the people also ask questions uh, which you can find whenever you search for a keyword, you can find them over here. So you can see that the first four or five questions are similar to what we have over here. And uh, yeah, since my region is different compared to the country I've chosen over here, you can see that one of the questions might be different, but yeah, they are still covered. So yeah, you can look at all the people uh, uh, also ask questions and uh, you can compare your score, your content score with that of your competitors. Uh, so in this case, we are looking at uh, our score compared to the top rated uh, competitor for that keyword, for that question. So yeah, what does a web content writer do? So uh, our score is at A plus and even the competitor is scoring nice. So yeah, this also presents an opportunity for you to basically generate content just to be on a level similar, if not more than your competitors. So yeah, if you answer all these questions and uh, if you score well on them, uh, on these questions, you'll basically create a very, a very in-depth content piece around that topic, because these are the questions which uh, are related directly to that main topic. And uh, if you answer these questions, you create an in-depth content piece which the search engines like so yeah as you can see these are my scores for different questions and if I look at the all competitors okay so it shows the score for individual questions and uh, you can see the four results top four results for the same here's my score a plus and uh, this is the score for the four uh, websites that are ranking for this question and again you can see my score and uh, the scores of the other top articles. So yeah, this uh, basically opens up a nice opportunity for you to see. And as you can see that uh, since my content is ranking uh, well, I mean, it scores well. So the opportunity, the odds of my content doing well uh, after it's published is quite good. I mean, you, you'll, you'll definitely score well. So yeah, if you look at the semantic ranking, this is the final one. This will show you the score out of 100, whereas these were the grades. Uh, but this semantic ranking will show you your overall score. And uh, this score is basically an aggregate of all the quotients. So each quotient carries some certain number of points. Uh, each grade carries some marks. And uh, your semantic ranking is basically an aggregate of all those scores. So yeah, you have eight quotients over here. And uh, overall, if you talk about this co topic, content writer for website, and uh, you look at these 
uh, results the people also ask questions and uh, you can see that your content should do pretty well so yeah it's uh, it's always desirable that you go for a high score the higher the score the better the chances of your content ranking so yeah currently my blog is placed at number two um, in terms of the quality of the content which has been covered under this uh, blog so if you're a fan of google's helpful content update this feature the semantic seo feature is definitely worth looking up to because it will help you generate content which which basically helps the user and uh, why i say this because if you look at the topic content writer uh, for websites and uh, you look at all these questions and if you cover all these questions you're creating an in-depth content piece which which basically helps a user and they don't need to go to other websites to find solutions so yeah creating in-depth solutions you look at the semantic seo feature so this was all about long shots semantic seo score well if you found this feature fascinating and you wish to use it you can check out a basic plan and get to explore the semantic seo feature and other features as well so this was pretty much about the video thank you for watching